Born on July 15, 1939, the actor, also known as Patrick Wayne, grew up in a show business family. His father was the famous film star John Wayne. However, the actor forged his own path in the industry, appearing in numerous films and television shows. One of his most notable roles was in the 1960s TV series The High Chaparral, where he played the lead character, Blue Cannon. The show was a hit and ran for four seasons, earning the actor a loyal fan base. In addition to his work on The High Chaparral, the actor appeared in many of his father's films, including Rio Bravo, The Alamo, and The Green Berets. He also had a successful career as a television host, serving as the MC for the popular game show Tic Tac Doe in the 1970s. Throughout his career, the actor has demonstrated his versatility as a performer, taking on a wide range of roles in both film and television. He has earned the respect and admiration of his peers and fans alike for his dedication to his craft and his contributions to the entertainment industry. Ever wondered when you first recognized the actor Patrick Wayne? Or which of his works holds a special place in your heart? We all have our favorite memories and experiences related to this classic star. Perhaps it was his role in the show Gunsmoke or the film The Alamo that caught your attention. Whatever it may be, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into this actor's life, you'll discover many funny, shocking, and even sad facts that you never knew before. So, keep watching this video to learn more about the actor Patrick Wayne. Did you know that the actor's real name is not even Patrick Wayne? Or that he served in the United States Coast Guard before becoming an actor? These are just a few of the fascinating facts that we will explore in this video. So, whether you're a longtime fan of the actor or just discovering him for the first time, there's something for everyone in this video. Get ready to learn more about the man behind the movies and TV shows that we all know and love. Born in 1939, the actor, Patrick Wayne, grew up in a show business family. His father, John Wayne, was already a famous actor when he was born. The young Patrick was exposed to the film industry from an early age. He often visited his father on movie sets and even appeared in some of his films as a child. This early exposure to the world of films sparked his interest in acting. Patrick's mother, Josephine Wayne, was also an actress, adding to the show business atmosphere in the Wayne household. With both parents in the industry, it's no surprise that the actor developed a passion for acting at a young age. As a teenager, Patrick attended Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, where he studied drama. It was during this time that he met his mentor, director Henry Hathaway. Hathaway, who had worked with Patrick's father on several films, took the young actor under his wing and taught him the ins and outs of the film industry. Under Hathaway's guidance, the actor landed his first leading role in the film The Alamo. He played Davy Crockett's son, which was a significant role for the young actor, as it not only marked his film debut, but also allowed him to work alongside his father. The actor's early years were marked by his family's influence and his mentor's guidance. These experiences shaped his path and laid the foundation for his successful career in the film industry. Born in 1939, the actor Patrick Wayne, son of the legendary John Wayne, followed in his father's footsteps to become a notable figure in Hollywood. Known for his work in westerns, he starred in numerous films and TV shows, including The Searchers and Rio Lobo. In the 1960s, the actor landed a starring role in the TV series The High Chaparral, which aired for four seasons and earned him a Golden Globe nomination. Throughout his career, he worked with notable directors and actors, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Patrick Wayne also served as the president of the John Wayne Cancer Institute, continuing his father's legacy of giving back to the community. His contributions to both the entertainment industry and cancer research make him a worthy figure to celebrate. Ever since the actor was a young boy, he was drawn to the magic of film. His father, a well-known figure in Hollywood, would often bring him on set, sparking a fascination that would last a lifetime. At the tender age of 12, the actor made his film debut in the Alamo, standing alongside his father and other legendary stars. This experience ignited a spark within the young actor, and he knew then that he wanted to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. He was captivated by the energy and creativity that flowed through the sets, the camaraderie between the cast and crew, and the thrill of bringing stories to life. During his teenage years, the actor appeared in several television shows and films, honing his craft and developing his unique style. 
he was determined to make a name for himself, rather than simply riding on his father's coattails. One pivotal moment in the actor's journey came when he was cast as the lead in the popular television series The Sackets. This role not only solidified his status as a talented actor, but also allowed him to explore the depths of his abilities, delving into complex characters and engaging storylines. Throughout his career, the actor has remained dedicated to his craft, constantly seeking new challenges and opportunities to grow as an artist. His passion for storytelling and his commitment to his work continue to inspire those around him, leaving a lasting impact on the world of film and television. After assisting the property master on his father's film Hondo at the age of 14, the actor Patrick Wayne pursued a career in summer stock and dinner theater productions. Among the shows he starred in were My Three Angels, Angel on My Shoulder, Romantic Comedy, Come Blow Your Horn, and Arsenic, an old lace at the Burt Reynolds Theater in Florida. This theater engagement reunited him with Henry Brandon, his co-star in The Searchers. In Big Jake, the actor played the role of James McCandles, with Bobby Vinton, who was four years and three months older than him, and Christopher Mitchum, who was four years and three months younger, also appearing in the film. If Maureen O'Hara had been their mother, as some have speculated, she would have timed their births exceptionally well, with only one day's difference between the middle brother's age and the others. In addition to his work in film and theater, the actor also assisted the property master on his father's film, and apprenticed as an assistant director under his uncle, John Wayne's younger brother. This family connection provided him with valuable experience and knowledge in the film industry. Early in his career, the actor faced financial struggles, relying on his family for support. Despite this, he remained determined to make a name for himself in the industry. However, he encountered skepticism from industry professionals who doubted his abilities due to his famous father, John Wayne. Instead of giving up, the actor used this skepticism as motivation to work even harder. He took on smaller roles in various films and TV shows to gain experience and prove himself as a talented actor in his own right. One of the creative solutions he found to overcome these obstacles was to start his own production company. This allowed him to have more control over his career and create opportunities for himself. He also used his connections in the industry to help him secure roles and gain recognition. Despite facing financial struggles and industry skepticism, the actor's resilience and determination helped him overcome these obstacles and build a successful career in Hollywood. After playing the role of James Anderson in Shenandoah Day, the actor went on to star in Big Jake. In this film, he portrayed James McCandles, and many of the cast members were part of John Wayne's regular group of actors. The Shenandoah Valley, where the earlier film is set, was a significant location during the American Civil War. The valley was known as the breadbasket of the South and was the site of two major campaigns. The second campaign, which took place in Woody Dean in 64, is the backdrop for the film. The campaign involves six major battles, and after great loss of life, the North emerged victorious. This film can be seen as a prequel to the John Wayne classic, Rio Grande, which was released 14 years later. In Big Jake, the actor worked alongside many familiar faces. Chuck Robertson, Hank Worden, Bruce Cabot, and Patrick Wayne himself were all part of John Wayne's stock company of regular actors. The film features a total of 22 actors who had previously worked with John Wayne, including Maureen O'Hara, Jim Burke, Jerry Gatlin, Tom Hennessy, Richard Boone, Christopher Mitchum, John Dowsett, Jim Davis, and more. The actor's role in Big Jake was just one of many he played alongside his famous stepfather, John Wayne. After minor roles in his father's films, the actor's breakthrough moment came with the lead role in the 1956 film The Searchers. Directed by John Ford, this groundbreaking project showcased the actor's potential, earning him critical acclaim and recognition in the industry. Ford, who was known for his meticulous direction, saw something special in the actor, stating, he's got a fire in his belly that most young actors lack. The actor's portrayal of Martin Pauly in The Searchers was a significant turning point in his career. His ability to convey the character's emotional depth and growth throughout the film left a lasting impact on both audiences and critics alike. Renowned film critic Roger Ebert praised the actor's performance, noting that he brings a quiet intensity to the role that makes Martin's journey compelling. Following the success of The Searchers, the actor continued to make his mark in Hollywood with notable roles in various films and television shows. 
his work in the 1960s Western series The Rounders, and the 1970s sci-fi classic The Time Tunnel further solidified his status as a talented and versatile performer. In the 1970s, the actor took on a more prominent role as a producer and host of the popular television show The Big Hollywood Rodeo Show. This new endeavor allowed him to showcase his passion for the Western genre and his dedication to preserving its rich history. Peers and collaborators alike admired his commitment to the project, with one colleague stating, he's not just an actor, he's a true ambassador for the Western way of life. Throughout his career, the actor has remained a constant presence in the film and television industry, leaving an indelible mark on audiences and critics alike. His breakthrough moments in The Searchers and The Big Hollywood Rodeo Show have not only showcased his versatility as a performer, but also his dedication to his craft and his passion for preserving the legacy of the Western genre. In Rio Grande, the film debut of the actor, he played the role of boy. Years later, he took on the part of James McCampbell's in Big Jake, where a humorous exchange took place during an interview for the film's 50th anniversary. A young lady from the audience asked if he called John Wayne Daddy at home, to which he responded, you know, all my life, I call him Daddy. This revelation brought laughter to the audience as it highlighted the close relationship between the actor and the legendary John Wayne, who played his father in the movie. Interestingly, Bobby Vinton played the middle brother in Big Jake, even though he was four years older than the actor. This casting choice added to the film's unique dynamic, making it a classic Western that fans still enjoy today. The actor, Patrick Wayne, known for his work in film and television, has a unique artistic vision and process. Growing up in a family of actors, he was exposed to the industry from a young age. This early exposure shaped his perspective and approach to acting. Wayne believes in thorough preparation for his roles. He immerses himself in research, studying the character's background, motivation, and relationships. This meticulous preparation allows him to fully embody the character and deliver an authentic performance. In addition to his preparation, Wayne's acting style is characterized by his ability to convey emotion through subtle gestures and facial expressions. He avoids over-the-top displays of emotion, instead opting for a more understated approach. This subtlety adds depth and complexity to his characters, making them more relatable and engaging to audiences. Personal experiences and worldview play a significant role in Wayne's work. He often draws upon his own life experiences to inform his characters and their emotions, this personal touch adds authenticity and relatability to his performances. Furthermore, Wayne is not afraid to take on challenging roles that push him out of his comfort zone. He believes that growth as an actor comes from taking risks and trying new things. This willingness to experiment and take chances is reflected in the diverse range of characters he has played throughout his career. In conclusion, Patrick Wayne's artistic vision and process are shaped by his early exposure to the industry, meticulous preparation, subtle acting style, personal experiences, and willingness to take on challenging roles. These elements come together to create a unique and engaging approach to acting that has captivated audiences for decades. Meanwhile, in the classic Western film The Searchers, he played the role of a young cavalry officer, Lieutenant Greenhill. This was one of his early roles, and he would go on to co-star with his father in several films. In fact, Big Jake in 1971 was the ninth and last of his co-starring roles with his father. In another notable role, he played second loot. Scott in Cheyenne Autumn, a part that was originally offered to Jeffrey Hunter, who turned it down to star in the TV series Temple Houston. Hunter series only ran for one season before it was canceled, and the part eventually went to the actor. The actor, Patrick Wayne, made a name for himself in the film industry with his distinguished career. Born in 1939, he followed in the footsteps of his famous father, John Wayne, and appeared in many Western films. Wayne's acting style was characterized by his natural charm and charisma. He often portrayed strong and confident characters which resonated with audiences. According to film critic Peter Bradshaw, Patrick Wayne brought a certain gravitas to the screen, and his performances were always memorable. One of Wayne's most notable roles was in the 1962 film The Longest Day, where he played a young soldier. His performance was praised for its authenticity and emotional depth. Director Ken Anakin stated, Patrick Wayne was a true professional and his portrayal of a young soldier was both moving and powerful. 
Wayne's influence extended beyond his acting abilities. He was also known for his contributions to the industry behind the scenes. In the 1980s, he served as the president of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, where he worked to preserve and promote Western culture. Industry experts and those inspired by Wayne have praised his contributions to the film industry. Actor and director Ron Howard, who worked with Wayne on the TV show The Virginian, stated, Patrick Wayne was a mentor to me, and his influence on my career has been immeasurable. He was a true professional and a kind and generous person. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Western films, and Wayne's contributions to the genre have been recognized. His ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance has inspired a new generation of actors and filmmakers. In conclusion, Patrick Wayne's impact on the film industry is undeniable. His acting abilities, contributions to Western culture, and mentorship of young actors have left a lasting legacy. As film critic Leonard Maltin stated, Patrick Wayne was a true Hollywood legend, and his contributions to the industry will be remembered for generations to come. In the early 1950s, the actor, along with his family, embarked on a long journey to Ireland for the filming of The Quiet Man. They traveled by plane, a 13-hour flight from New York. In the movie, he can be seen as a boy on a wagon at a horse race. The actor has three half-siblings, Ethan Wayne, Asa Wayne, and Marissa Wayne. They share the same father, the legendary John Wayne. Interestingly, the actor was offered the role of Superman in the 1978 film, but he declined. His father was battling cancer at the time, and he chose to stay by his side. This decision showcased his loyalty and commitment to his family. Moving beyond his work in film, the actor has always been passionate about giving back to the community. He is known for his philanthropic efforts, particularly in the area of children's health. For many years, he has been a dedicated supporter of the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which is one of the world's leading pediatric cancer research centers. The actor's interest in children's health is deeply personal, as he has seen firsthand the impact that serious illness can have on a child and their family. This experience has informed his work both on and off the screen, and he has used his platform to raise awareness and funds for this important cause. In addition to his work with St. Jude, the actor is also involved in several other charitable organizations. He is a longtime supporter of the John Wayne Cancer Foundation, which was established in honor of his father, and is dedicated to fighting cancer through research, education, and awareness. The actor's personal values and interests are deeply intertwined with his professional life. He has often chosen roles that reflect his commitment to social justice and his belief in the power of storytelling to affect change. Whether he is advocating for children's health or taking on complex and challenging roles, the actor is a true champion for positive change both on and off the screen. In the film Beyond Atlantis, the actor played the role of Vic Mathias. This B-movie, produced and directed by David Dakoto, was an unusual family-oriented film coming out of the Philippines. Initially, the plan was to have the lead characters discover topless people living underwater. However, the actor insisted that the film be PG-rated, leading to a more family-oriented approach. During the filming of The Searchers, the actor, in his first important part, experienced kindness from the notoriously temperamental director John Ford. Ford was particularly fond of the actor, sparing him from his usual harsh treatment meted out to the rest of the cast and crew. The actor, understandably, was grateful for this special treatment, even if it made him less popular with his colleagues. In Mr. Roberts, the actor found himself in the company of many Navy veterans, including Henry Fonda, Jack Lemmon, and Harry Carey Jr., the director. John Ford was a rear admiral who served in both World War II and Korea. The novel's author, Thomas Hegan, based the story on his experiences as a communications officer aboard the U.S. Spurgo. Winton Seahawk, the cinematographer, spent his naval career filming top secret activities. John Dale Price, the technical advisor, was a naval aviator and four-star admiral who served in three wars. The actor, along with Nick Adams, served in the Coast Guard during the Vietnam War. Other cast and crew members served in various branches of the military, including the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps. Their military experiences added authenticity to the film, making it a more accurate portrayal of life in the Navy. The actor Patrick Wayne, known for his work in Western films, has left a lasting legacy in the industry. 
His career, spanning several decades, is a testament to his dedication and passion for his craft. He has inspired many aspiring professionals with his memorable performances and work ethic. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, the actor advises to always be prepared and professional. He believes that hard work and perseverance are key to success in the industry. Additionally, he encourages aspiring actors to continuously hone their craft and to never stop learning. In terms of future contributions, the actor hopes to continue to be a positive influence in the industry. He sees himself taking on more behind the scenes roles, such as producing and directing, in order to give back to the community that has given him so much. In conclusion, Patrick Wayne's legacy in the film industry is one of dedication, professionalism, and passion. His advice for aspiring actors is to always be prepared, work hard, and never stop learning. And as he looks to the future, he hopes to continue to contribute to the industry in a meaningful way. In the film McClintock, the actor played the role of Devlin Warren. When he introduced his mother to GW, it seemed that Yvonne was too young, but in reality, she was 16 years older than the actor. The actor and John Wayne co-starred in 10 films together, with the last one being Big Jake. In this film, the actor took on the role of James McCandles. In Shenandoah, the actor starred alongside Doug McClure, who he would later co-star with and the people that time forgot 12 years later. The actor played the role of James Anderson in Shenandoah. Born in 1939, the actor's journey began in the shadow of his famous father, John Wayne. However, he quickly forged his own path in the entertainment industry. Passionate about storytelling, the actor found success in both film and television. His innovative spirit led him to explore various genres, from westerns to science fiction. Throughout his career, the actor demonstrated perseverance, overcoming obstacles, and proving his enduring impact on the industry. His work in classics like The Alamo and The Searchers resonates with audiences even today. The actor's commitment to his craft has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of American cinema. In the world of television, the actor made his mark as well, with memorable roles in shows like Gunsmoke and Tales of Wells Fargo. His ability to adapt to different mediums and genres showcases his versatility and passion for storytelling. The actor's creativity and perseverance serve as a testament to the power of following one's dreams. His work continues to inspire and entertain, proving that a passion for storytelling can transcend generations. Indeed, the actor's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that creativity and determination can leave a lasting mark on the world. As a respected actor, Patrick Wayne's work has touched the lives of many. From his early roles to his later performances, his dedication to his craft is clear. In films like The Alamo and Shenandoah, he showcased his ability to embody diverse characters. On the television show Green Acres, he demonstrated his comedic timing and versatility. The actor's contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting impact. His portrayals of various roles have resonated with audiences and have become a testament to his talent. Whether you've been a fan since his early work or discovered him later on, there's no denying the impact he's had on the film and television landscape. So, let's hear your thoughts on Patrick Wayne's work and legacy. What are your favorite performances and how have they impacted you? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. And if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.